entire A's payroll is a bit of a tough pill to swallow, but it's good for Sean Manaya. It's good for the San Diego Padres. All right, a couple of guys making uh, the way from the minor leagues to the major leagues. Bobby Witt Jr. of the Kansas City Royals is going to make the major day major league opening day roster. Of course, we thought that this was going to happen. We had conversations with him, and he thought that uh, he was certainly ready. But he is going to be uh, with the big league club, probably at third base, not at the shortstop position. But he's 21 years old. He's a third baseman for the Royals. We came up as a shortstop, but he's being moved to third. Was the second overall pick in the 2019 draft. Hit 289. Spencer Torkelson is going to be making his major league debut with the Detroit Tigers. Number four prospect in all of baseball. 22-year-old first baseman for the Tigers who can also play third base. Pretty cool that Miguel Cabrera symbolically handed over his first base glove to Torkelson. Singling the change of guard at the position. And Julio Rodriguez, the number three overall prospect, is going to be on the big league club with the Seattle Mariners. Congratulations to all of these young prospects making opening day rosters. And finally, on the Rizzo Report, we are still talking about the scandal that just will not end. The 2017 sign-stealing scandal with the Houston Astros. Carlos Beltran recently saying this to Michael Kay uh, in an interview, probably the first time he's actually publicly spoken about the sign stealing scandal of course he was a member of that 2017 Astros team said quote we all did what we did looking back today we were wrong a lot of people always ask me why you didn't stop it and my answer is I didn't stop it the same way no one stopped it this is working for us why are you going to stop something that is working for you so if the organization would have said something to us we would have stopped it for sure end quote again this is coming from Yes Network in a conversation that Carlos Beltran had with Michael K. So, Chris, I ask you this. Uh, the players received immunity. Uh, Carlos Beltran finally speaking about this publicly. Your take on uh, on what he had to say about the 2017 scandal. Well, you know, he's doing 36 games for Yes this year, including opening day. So I guess he had to get this out and he, uh, get this sort of off his chest and get this behind him before they put him on the air. Number one, he retired at the end of the year. So he's annoyed that how come I got burned well, you retire, Carlos. So by the time the, the baseball did the investigation, you're no longer an active player. That is item number one. Item number two, he puts the blame on the organization. How about knowing the difference between right and wrong? I mean, gee whiz. I mean, you as a longtime player didn't think this was wrong? That you were banging trash cans and putting video monitors in there and you're passing a buck to Lunau and Lynch? That's out of line. And then number three, I mean, you know, the idea that these players, the players in the sport, they give Beltran a complete pass. You ever notice that? Judge, he doesn't have to explain anything to us. Uh, let me get this straight. The, the general manager just went nuts three days ago how he got his team ripped off of a World Series, and yet they brought the guy in, A, as a coach two years, a year after, and then as a broadcaster. I mean, and this is the guy that was the mastermind, him and Cora. So, I mean, he, both sides of your mouth. If you hate the Astros so much, well, then you gotta help, you gotta hate Beltran. He's the one who did the whole scenario. And the Yankees and other ex-players always give Beltran a pass because he's been a great player and he's been overall an excellent guy. They want to put the blame on somebody else, the owner, the GM. The, oh, no, no, blame Beltran. I mean, geez, he was sitting in the dugout making these decisions. So you got to keep that in mind when you hear these players talk about how oh, it's not Beltran. I mean, it's not Beltran's fault. Of course it's his fault. I mean, he's the one who was responsible. And Carlos says, remember, how come I didn't get immunity? You're retired. By the time baseball did the investigation, you, you, you're no longer an active player. The other players who were granted immunity were still active players. Beltran wasn't. That's why I didn't get immunity. Ah, I can't take it. Enough. The whole thing with the Yankees and this nonsense and oh, I can't take it. Enough. Yankees got beat. They scored three runs in four days. They couldn't hit themselves out of a paper bag. They brought in Beltran. They had A-Rod in 2009. And they fired the manager, Girardi, after they lost that ALCS. Enough of the Yankees. Please, you may continue. I apologize. Okay. No, there's nothing How to, to get that off my okay. chest. There's nothing to say. Enough, enough, and then you keep going. Enough, and then you keep going. All right, coming up, we are talking about the top 100 players in Major League Baseball, two of which are on the same team, but my co-host, my friend, my mad dog does not agree. Shocking. We'll talk about it when we come back. High Heat is brought to you by Liberty Mutual Insurance. Liberty Mutual customizes your car and home insurance, so you only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. 
America, I got you. We told Reggie Miller Wendy's will give away our amazing breakfast biscuits for a buck for every bucket he makes. No luck. Truth is, we were going to do it anyhow. Want a better biscuit for a buck? Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's. Cracked windshield? Make it easy and schedule with SafeLight because you can track us and see exactly when we'll be there. I have a few more minutes. Let's go. That's service that fits your schedule. Go to SafeLight.com. SafeLight Repair. SafeLight Replace. This may sound strange, but you've been here before. You were here when this wrench was turned and when this line was drawn. Oh, and when this stitch was sewn. You inspired the Lexus ES to be, well, more you. So thank you. We hope you like your work. Get special offers on the 2022 ES350. We believe there's an innovator in all of us. That's why we build technology that helps everyone come to the table and do more incredible things. On a road trip, do you need power or optimum power? If that battery in your kid's toy dies, you are in for a long ride. So upgrade to optimum. Duracell Optimum. This is an SOS from Novacore. Everything is disappearing. Our outpost on Earth's death pod is in danger. Hey, Quill, this thing is so broken. Hard. Uh, uh, Quill, you seeing this? Quill! Well, you heard the lady. Get to AFCON. It saved the galaxy time. Again. and change the balance of power for 2022 and get your first look at how teams stack up heading into the new season. MLB Tonight's AL Preview Show. Tonight at 6 Eastern. Then catch the NL Preview Show tomorrow at 7 on MLB Network. All right, here we have the uh, top 100 players list. This was revealed over the course of the weekend. And you can take a look at 1 through 10 there. Number one and number two, I think, are the most interesting, obviously, because Shohei Otani is number one. Mike Trout, he surpasses his teammate for the number one spot. But this begs the question, if the Angels, Mad Dog, have the number one and number two player, according to this top 100 list, is this the year they absolutely have to make the postseason? Are they a playoff team? And how do you have the number one and number two players um, on your roster if you're not going to be competitive? You have to at this point, right? You well, have to make the postseason with these two guys. Well, we got a bunch of 18-year-olds making this decision. How in the world could Trout be number two when he played 36 games last year? And he hasn't I played think they're going by assumption of what he's done in his entire career. You can't, I think they're going oh, by no, what no, he's no, done. No, 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 no. He can't go by that. He, what did he do last year? I mean, that's the case. So why is Otani on the list as the number one player? He's had him one year like this. So I mean, if you're gonna go by, your I don't think career, I don't think Otani can one. be number one. I don't think Otani can be number one because he's a pitcher. Well, I mean, I know he plays. That's another I know reason. And, and 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 you got the Guam on here. How do you put a, a pitcher? On a top 10 list, all oh, these lists are hot stuff. But the bottom line is, though, how do you put a guy on a list who played 36 games last year? Yes, he's been in the IL every year since 2016. And I know how great he all is. All right, who's your number one then? Games. 
Who's your you number know, one? I'm not even sure if I put, uh, you know, if I, if uh, for my money right now, if I had to take one player, I would probably have to put Soto number one. If I take one player right now that I can start my season with, I would take Soto number one. And by the way, where's Judge? How is Judge not in this list? Do they not see the games? He's a tremendous outfielder. He hits two in the lineup. His presence in the lineup is phenomenal. He also does it at Yankee Stadium. Not that easy. He succeeds in New York. How is Judge not a top wait, 10 player? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, same I, argument, though. Same argument, though. How often was Judge on the IL last year? I'm asking. How often? No, Lee, how, sure, no, how many games did Judge? No. Okay. No, he all right, just played checking. like 150 games. He okay. played all the games. I mean, guys, research. Wake up. Judge was 11. Games. You can't make him number two. He missed two. the top ten That's by ridiculous. one. A lot of nice see you tomorrow. High heat. Noontime.